We loved shooting this video series of Jesse Hall, farmer out of Arlington. And one of the things I want you to pay attention to is how he has changed over the years, not only his operation, but his mindset. I'm gonna get out of the way and let Jesse talk. Hello, I'm Jesse Hall, and uh, I'm farming over in Eastern Kingsbury County. I currently live on my, would've been my mother's dad's place where she grew up years and years ago. I started farming back in about 1996. Dad gave up about 20 acres of land. That was kind of my start. And I, him and I have been farming together, you know, pretty much ever since until he's passing here about a year ago. And dad's basically the one that got our family started uh, no-tilling here back in 1988. He was friends with Dr. Dwayne Beck. And Dwayne at the time was telling dad about this new idea of no-till and we were having some problems with soil erosion at the time we wanted to address and that was kind of what we did. On the wet years particularly, you know, we would really, really struggle with wet spots. You know, and, and we were bas basically a corn soybean rotation and occasionally we'd throw in an oat or a winter wheat or something like that, but it's predominantly corn soybean. So what we did is we would get the chisel plow out and we'd chisel plow all the low areas out and then we'd field cultivate in the spring and we thought, well, we've got all these wet spots, so this will fix it. Well, you'd get in and you'd plant it and then, and then you know, it would flood out on you again and it never did us any good. So then we decided, okay, well, we're gonna try a rotary hoe. So we go out and we rotary hole the fields in all these wet spots and basically that dried it out and that, that worked a little better but then that planted every weed seed that, there, that was on top of the ground and then you had a mess. Well in about uh, 2000, probably 13 or 14, we switched over to, a, to a, basically a permanent three-way rotation where we brought oats back in. So, so once, we, once we started to uh, our three-way rotation, a lot of those wet spots went away. You know, the, the, there's a lot of there's a few areas, maybe acre patches or so here and there, that were that were always borderline planting. I mean, you, you'd go through good conditions and you kind of slop through that those low spots and you'd get to the other end, and then those low spots never really recovered. A lot of those spots went away. You know, the take home message is you got to give stuff time, and if you're currently not a no tiller, the big thing that you want to do is don't switch the whole farm over to no till all in one year. Just go field by field, let it be a progressive thing. But uh, if you bring in small grain and start cover cropping, you're going to get your soil structure much faster and you're going to start seeing your soil turning around much faster. And if you bring livestock and cover crops into it, it's just going to accelerate that whole process even more so. So instead of being three to five years, you might, you might start seeing a difference maybe sooner than that. A lot of people don't think they can make any money on small grain, and I disagree, you know, you might have to market a little harder and you can do it. But the one thing you have to take into consideration is the yield bump you get on the other two years. 